You may have suspected summer is on its way thanks to the appearance of beautiful daffodils and pink blossoms. Now scientists have confirmed the change in season has moved forward by about 10 days between the 1960s and 2000s. And they claim summer is set to get even earlier by a further 10 days by the end of the century. Instead of studying local temperatures and effects, Christophe Cassou and Julian Cautia of the French National Meteorological Research Center, CNRS, considered the wider climate patterns over Western Europe. Dividing the year into just two seasons, winter and summer, they were able to chart the moment when high-pressure weather patterns switched from bringing wintry weather to summer heat waves. In pre-industrial times, this happened on the 15th April, but by 2000 the seesaw date was already a week earlier, occurring on April 5th. By the end of the 21st century it can be expected by March 25th, and this is probably the result of global warming, they wrote in the journal Nature Climate Change. In winter, high pressure over Scandinavia draws cold dry air from the east over Western Europe, resulting in cloudless nights and cold temperatures. In summer, the same pattern brings warm air from the continent and clear skies in daytime. The researchers define the start of summer as the date when the relationship between atmospheric pressure and air temperature switched. Plotting the pressure to temperature ratio on a circular chart representing a year, they found a figure of eight pattern emerged, showing the beginnings of summer and winter. Comparing data collected since the mid 19th century, they found that the start of summer has come steadily earlier, while the beginning of winter has stayed about the same. The main cause of this is the pattern of snow cover in the east. About 1.1 million square miles, 3 million square kilometer, of snow has been lost per decade in the 1980s, 90s, and 2000s. Earlier melting of snow because of climate change means that the air drawn over Western Europe is warmer in springtime. The researchers' calculations match phenological observations of the flowering dates of cherry and apple trees, and the bud burst of beech and riesling grapes. These also show an earlier onset of about two and a half days per decade, but again there was no change in autumn signals like leaf color and fall. The researchers conclude that the greatest rate of change in the onset of summer is happening right now, and by the end of the 21st century the new earlier pattern will be permanent.